This is an old root crown shoot from the base of this citrus tree. And apparently at one point in time, someone decided this shoot didn't belong here and started cutting it. And then it snapped off and peeled bark down to the, the root crown here. Wounds at the base of trees are very serious and this is no exception. The tree of course cannot heal this wound until this stump is gone. And so we need to recut this as best we can. We're gonna come in down here and then we'll go ahead and treat the end grain. And then this will allow the tree to actually heal this site. Again, the tree cannot heal it until this is gone. It can't possibly roll a cambium callus over this dead stump. We have to bring this back as close as we can. We might even be able to just score it and snap it off and bring it down real tight into our root crown here. It is a little bit impinged by the trunk. The trunk has expanded into it, so it's very hard to cut in without damaging existing bark. It's about as far as we can cut without getting into the bark. So we're gonna, we're gonna just, oh, there we go, okay. There, well, we were actually able then to, to excise this pretty well. You can see where it was pinched, included bark right there and it has been rotting and is snapped out of the base. So we're just gonna go ahead and dab this site. There we go. That's about all we can do for it. But at least now the tree has a potential to heal this wound site. Here we are in Southern California. We're taking care of an old Quarcus agrifolia, California live oak. And we have a very interesting observation to make here with this particular tree. We can see how a big cambium callus is trying to roll in and close up this wound. It's a very large injury from a long time ago. And we see the last of the old dead limb is still lingering here. And the tree really can't close this wound all the way up until this old dead tissue is off the tree. So we propose to excise this dead snag here, this little foot long chunk of dead tissue here. We're going to clean this up as best we can, and then we're going to treat the end grain to create the best possible healing conditions for the tree. When we see an old snag like this on a wound, this really is keeping that wound open. The tree cannot close until this is gone. This would have to rot and fall off the tree in nature for this to completely close. But we're not going to wait for that. We're going to go ahead and make our excision, clean this up as best we can, and create good conditions for the tree to heal itself. If we let this remain and let this continue to rot here, what we can have is a rotting pocket occurring in the side of this trunk where this old dead snag just slowly, slowly continues to rot and decay and just go punk and dip on us and actually create the situation where, where we have a cupping wound, a wound that can hold water and promote and create decomposition sites for us. We don't want that to happen. We want to go ahead and excise this and allow this tree to finish closing up this old, old wound. Try not to let these kind of old rotten snags persist on your trees. When you find an old snag like this, get it properly removed. And that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to do this with a handsaw. It's not that big of a snag and it's probably very soft, pithy wood anyway. When we find old snags like this on the side of a trunk of a tree, it's far better for the tree to excise these because this will sit here and rot and rot and rot. Better to just excise to a clean excision, treat the end grain of the wound, and let the tree get about the healing process and closing the injury up. This wood is still pretty firm here. This is a little, little pithier. We could perhaps clean this up just a little bit more. What we're trying to do is create optimal conditions for healing. So this is pretty firm wood here up on top on the end grain. It's fairly firm. A little bit of this side wall here is still a bit pithy. So I think we'll take a minute or two and just try to clean back to firm sound wood before we treat this injury. 
in healing of any organism, we could say that there's a hygienic component that is going to determine whether or not a wound heals or continues to rot and decay. In the case of a tree, we want to rely on the tree's ability to compartmentalize this injury. We want it to lay down cambium callus and roll in and close up this wound over firm sound wood. Now, we've got it down to fairly firm wood here. We've excised to the point that now the tree is capable of rolling in and closing this up. This wound can't cup water. Water will simply drain away, so we don't have a cupping wound. We've removed as much as we can of the soft, pithy tissue so that the cambium callus can roll over firm wood. We do have living cambium here and here. There's even expansions are observable. And we feel that this is a wound the tree is fully capable of healing. We've got our extract of orange rind oil here, and we're just going to soak that into the wood and disinfect for termites, borers, and other organisms that, that will try to get access to this wood. So we've, we've soaked that, we've penetrated into the wood with our terpene oil. Now we're going to take our terpene oil beeswax and we're going to go ahead and just coat this end grain. It's not that large of an area. And the rest is up to the tree.